Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here bright and early from Westlake Village, California. What do we have here on Bitcoin on the daily time frame? It is rejection or not, sir. Rejection or not. What do I mean by rejection? That means we're hitting the top side trend line coming back from this area right here. You can see it swiftly, swiftly uh, just coming up and grazing upon the top side of this trend line as three touches makes a trend. The question is, are we going to bust on through the top side of the range or are we going to get rejected and come back down to 32,000 bucks? I don't care what happens. I'm happy either way, but I'm going to give you my thoughts based on the economic data that just came out today. And what am I talking about? The CP Live report inflation month over month came in at 0%. Yes, your goods and services are inflating at 0%, sir. And inflation rate, core inflation rate, 0.2%. Lower than the expectation, holy smokes, inflation year over year, 3.2%, lower than expectations, lower than the previous year, and I think Jerome Powell is fudging the numbers, sir. Core inflation year over year, lower than expected. Now, even though he's lying, we're going to take advantage of this in the market because this is what we want to see for a Bitcoin pump for a Bitcoin pump through the top side of this range. Yes, indeed. That's what it is. And I would expect sideways consolidation or continuation to the upside. Why is that? Well, volatility is uh, going to start to expand here, even though we're getting massive sell signals. Stochastics are down. We got a jewel sell signal. But I'm calling opposite day. I'm calling opposite day because everybody thinks the market's going to pull back. And that's when Bitcoin gives it to you. He gives it to you deep and hard, sir. Deep and hard. Deep and hard. To all you shorts out there, I hope you're getting smoked. But I do think the upside target for Bitcoin on this is more like this trend line. On the BitGet uh, Perpetuals Futures contracts and not as much this trend line. Some people have it drawn like that. Um, however, I will say this. This is a critical zone here. If we do close a daily back below 30, call it 36,000, I am going to expect a greater move down to 32,112. So... If Bitcoin is going to continue to breathe, that means some of the stronger altcoins are going to continue to breathe. And yeah, that's that's pretty much my uh, my short term analysis on Bitcoin. I could be wrong. I could be strong, but uh, that it just looks like higher lows and higher lows and higher lows and higher lows and more higher lows and the higher term time frames for Bitcoin and such said coins are lining up very nicely here. For a touch of this trend line all the way up here. Is that how it goes? Where does that line up with? Well, over the next couple of weeks, uh, probably a stronger push to the deeper 48,000s. On the other side of the cart, we've got Ethereum, which is just amid a macro breakout and the 15 minute time frame looking bullish, looking strong for mounting assault, uh, assaults back up at about 2100 today. Uh, Dixie, whoa, whoa, what happened to Dixie? Did, did Jerome Powell do the little doggy dance and make the dollar go down? Is that exactly what we wanted to see? A shaft back down to the downside? When the dollar goes down, your risk assets will party to the upside. So if you FOMO'd in to some altcoins or some kind of coins because you finally bought some Bitcoin and now you're like, oh, sh the market is pulling back. 
have no fear. The dollar is here to save the day. Heading down to one of our boxes of peace and prosperity as this is the second break of this major trend line. I would suspect that uh, price continues to come down for Mr. Dixie. Checking out on NASDAQ, breaking the trend, new all-time highs, parting to the upside. Here we go, Mr. NASDAQ, pulling it out strong, punching through the trend line as Jerome Powell just did the lottery dance before he came out and lied about CPI. Jerome Powell, thank you, sir, for giving us the good information of the day. So back on to Mr. Ethereum as he does a little bit of a stutter step, dancey dance. I would expect this one to, you know, maybe grind it out a little bit more, you know, a few more days. But overall, going to punch through to the upside. Thank you, Mr. Ethereum. Uh Another token trade setup that we have on the board is this very beautiful little darling called CRV, which is part of the Ethereum network, makes people want to buy more Ethereum, makes people want to buy more, stake more, borrow more, and all around, if you're not a crypto DREN, don't even try to understand it. Just try to understand that there's people here that have been longer than you, and we know what we're talking about. All right. On the other side of the fence, Mr. Chain Link. I'm pretty sure we called this one uh, from the macro high. I think the ultimate target on this one is about 28 bucks to uh, to get us up there. We're just coming into the. Uh, to the little 236, the next target is the 382 and the not 0.5. I would suspect off of this fantastic news that inflation's going down, gas is going down, climate change is going down, and you are living your dream life as we're coming into the second election of Joe Biden. Slow Biden, the slowest man on earth who got to be president. Yes, sir. Uh, the other one that is being a bit of a laggard, a little, bit of, a little bit of a slow man, is Mr. Avalanche, which if the honeybee theory plays out, I think actually more of the honeybees are going to go to curve, but you want to have an eye on AVAX as it is up 7% on the day. And we said yesterday, hey, look, deviation below the bottom side of the range coming in here. And now reclaiming the range, completing the W. See the W right here? W. Burr, burr, and then back to the upside. Um, so the next level to clear is going to be 22 bucks. I do like me some avalanche for some shorter term volatility as um yep i think that one is good to go and here's what i want to do i'm going to drop a little bit of information on our bot trading program which has been very very successful if you are interested post a comment below if you want to participate in the bot trading program the bot is trading currently uh, Injective, uh, Chainlink, Avalanche, and um, it's hitting at 89% uh, on uh, Injective over the last 166 trades. Um, the average gain is uh, about 1%. So there's another one. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust for Mr. Injective. Um, what else did I want to say today? We should monitor the liquidity that's coming into the market for Bitcoin. Where does the liquidity come from? Jerome Powell and China. 
what do you know? In the last three minutes, huge green candle or, or massive uh, injection from China here. Let's see how that lines up on the daily. So this is the Chinese Bank of China. The Chinese Bank of China injecting lots of liquidity into the market, very similar as to what they did back here when Bitcoin is around 16,000. And now, as we're putting in some lows, the Chinese are buying more and more Bitcoin. Every single day, they're buying more and more Bitcoin. And uh, that is my theory. I'm going to stick to it. Mr. Solana just parting to the upside. And here's something that you may want to consider. Not only Compound and Aave, which we've been talking about for some time, but the biggest brain buster is Rune. Rune to the moon. Rune has been ultimately strong against Bitcoin over the last few months. And this one could easily party back to the upside uh, to the tune of about 1264. We're currently at four bucks. Even with short term pullbacks, I'm going to be long term bullish on this one. Um, and another one GMX. GMX is a decentralized exchange. If you want to trade without Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen and Joe Biden looking in your back pocket, well, GMX is one of the places you can do that. Um, short term looks a little bit toppy, but I do imagine that the rest of the market goes alongside Bitcoin here. Optimism, another one putting in what looks like a potential higher low on the hourly time frame W formation. And yeah, all you want to do is see the W play out. Closing back above 183. I'm going to be very bullish on this one. Mr. Polka Dot. Mr. Polka Dot. Is he a leopard? Is he a lion? Well, I would say back above 551 and going to mount an assault back to 585. Aptos. I don't even know what this one does. Founders are from Facebook, whatever that means. And it's been just continually strong against Bitcoin. Mr. Matic in the ZK Sync rollups has a bit of a opportunity to run a bit more as Mr. Matic has been, well, one of the deep uh, kind of a slow mover at first, but strong over the past couple of weeks. As you can see, one, two, three, four, going on the fifth green week for Mr. Matic. And I'm probably looking for this one to hit about 148. Uh, 148 without even, you know, without even losing its breath, uh, so to speak. And I think we've covered everything for today, guys. Uh, trade setups. Another one, if the honeybee theory works out. And the honeybees start to go to avalanche. Well, then this one, Benki, is one of the avalanche liquidity staking pools, whatever that is. That means price probably going to go up to about a penny. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure you like and smash the rip button. Yes, sir. That's what I said. Make sure you like the like button and I will catch you back tomorrow. Take care and have a blessed one.